hey everyone welcome back on the channel welcome back to another avisar 3 slash uh, dlss3 enabler kind of video so today we are taking a look at horizon lego adventure this is based on the horizon zero dawn uh, the lego version of it and it's a funny kind of game you can see funny character moving this is aloy and uh, yeah this is uh, based on horizon zero dawn's uh, storyline so the game is uh, running on unreal engine 5 i mean made on unreal engine 5 and as you can see as a result the fps is so tanked so low uh, that it's literally getting in the 20s like uh, i'm using an rtx 2060 and it's not even that bad card it's quite useful even in 2024 and the fps is hitting the 30 mark like i'm not even running it on ultra so if i go to the graphics setting here here uh, you can see i am running the preset on only high not even the epic setting the epic setting do enables the ray tracing but yeah i have not enabled it if you switch to the epic setting uh, you will turn on the ray tracings but yeah i am not using it. it's still uh, everything is on high and uh, resolution scale is on 100 percent and fps as you can see it's only around 30 so yeah we will be using the dlss frame gen this game does support dlss frame generation so let's mod this video without any delay Alright, uh, we will be using the old stable version of DLSS enabler because this game already have DLSS frame generation inbuilt. So we're just going to activate it. Nothing too fancy of of this color and everything. So yeah, we're going to run this DLSS enabler setup 3.02. Then we click on accept. Then next, next. Now in here, we will browse the game's installation directory, which is... Uh, located here lego horizon adventure then we click on glow then binaries then win64 and we will copy this whole path of this folder so we will click on this address bar here and whole path will be selected then we right click on it and copy and go back to the dlss enabler again select the path previously entered delete it then right click paste after that we click next and in here if you have an amd or intel gpu you will need to enable this if you don't like me if you have an nvidia gpu just untake this after that we scroll down select install reg enabling disabling file because we will need this if you are using this mod for the first time so we will click on that after that we click next and install so it will take some time to install after that we click on finish now we come back to the installation directory again and we will see a disable nvidia signature file has appeared here so we will double click on that then click on yes and okay now i'm going to jump back into the game and i will show you how much frames you are getting and how you can switch up scalers and everything so yeah let's dive into the game now huge price drop on wukong at just 199 indian rupees the stock is very very limited so hurry up get microsoft xbox game pass at 750 rupees per year and the ultimate game pass including all the third party launchers like ea play ubi soft and blizzard and others at 14.99 per year okay uh, i'm back in the game again uh, fps is still around the same i have not activated the frame generation yet so yeah i'll go into the setting i mean option then go to video or graphics then scroll down here now even on non rtx and uh, gtx gpu you will be able to use the dlss now so you can see here it has tsr dla and dlss so we will switch to dlss and after that preset we can set anything performance balance whatever so i'm going to use the quality one because it provides the best quality after that we click uh, here uh, come down here and we will see frame generation has now come online we can use it so we will enable it then we go back to the game and now you can see game has also become very smooth and it's going above 90 fps like almost near to 100 fps 
I think it will go even 100 sometimes uh, when there's less demanding textures and scenarios on the screen. Uh, so yeah, uh, one more thing, if you press the insert key on your keyboard now, uh, you will bring this kind of menu. So from here, you by default, uh, you will see if it's a 3.x if you don't have an RTX GPU. So yeah, now you can wait. I think my A key is bugged right now. Like alloy is going to towards this location. Wait, let me fix it somehow. Okay. So if you press the insert key, you can switch the upscaler from here, FSR 3, FSR 2.2, XCSS, XCSS also provide good quality uh, over FSR 3.1, it's a little bit smooth but looks good. You can use the real DLSS if you have an RTX card by just clicking here and selecting the DLSS. Uh, so yeah, this will be it for this video, now I'm going to play this game for maybe 1 to 2 minutes because I find it little bit funny and I don't know, entertaining type of game. Uh, so yeah, if this video helps you consider subscribing to the channel If you face any kind of issue while installing this mod comment down below I will try to help you and don't forget to join discord for more upcoming mods and cheap games and everything So I'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers You remember, ready an arrow and... Even after years of being hit, the target still hadn't learned to move out of the way. That's one ticked off broadhead. Remember, Aloy had heard stories of the days when the metal creatures were docile and peaceful. It made her think that maybe destroying them wasn't the nicest thing to do.